Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this exponential equation. So the very first step is to make sure that we just manipulate it a little bit. We're going to tweak it by just dividing all these terms by 9 power x. We're going to divide across the board. 9 power x, 9 power x, and 9 power x on this side as well. And now this very first term, this could be written as by using this rule, as we can write is 25 divided by 9 power x minus, likewise, we will be using same rule for this second term as well. We can write it 15 divided by 9 power x minus as you can see they both cross out so we just ended up with 1 equal to 0 on the right hand side now let's focus on this very first term i have just copied it down on the right hand side let's go ahead and simplify this thing 25 could be written as 5 square divided by this 9 in the denominator could be written as 3 squared and then power x, all right? And then inside this parentheses, I can write this one as 5 over 3 power 2 and then power x. And now since we have a two exponents right here, 2 and x, we're going to be using this rule and so this could be written as 5 over 3 power 2x and which in turn could also be written as we can write by using the very same rule once again 5 third power x and then power 2. Now let's shift our uh, attention once again on the left hand side. This very first term could be written as this one as we simplified it. I can write as 5 over 3 power x and then power 2 minus over here as we can see that 15 over 9 could be reduced to 5 third. All right, 5 third power x minus 1 equal to 0. Now let's focus on over here 5 over 3 power x and then this, this 5 over 3 power x. This gives us a really good clue that we can use a substitution method. I'm going to say let u equal to 5 over 3 power x and now that means this whole equation is going to become simply u square minus u minus 1 equal to 0 which is a quadratic equation so therefore we are going to use this quadratic formula and as we can see that this our given quadratic equation is in a standard form. So we can see that our a value is 1, b value is negative 1, and c value is negative 1 as well. And here is our quadratic formula. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So u equal to minus b, b and then negative 1 plus or minus b square is going to be negative 1 square minus 4 time a in our case is 1, c is negative 1 divided by 2 times a is 1. Let's simplify furthermore that is going to give us positive 1 plus or minus square root of that is going to give us 1 this negative and negative become positive 4 divided by 2 so that is going to give us u equal to 1 
positive or negative square root of 5 divided by 2. And now let's go ahead and split the sign positive and negative so we can write this one as u equal to 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. The other u value is going to be 1 minus square root of 5 divided by 2. Now as we can see that this u equals to 5 over 3 power x and we know that this must be positive all the time so that means that this u must be positive that means this 1 minus square root of 5 divided by 2 is a negative quantity negative value so we are not going to accept it we are only going to accept this positive value of u so thus our positive u value turns out to be a 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. Let's focus one thing. This u equal to this value and we also know that u equal to 5 over 3 power x. If we compare these two equations we can see that we are going to get 5 over 3 power x equals to 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. Now we are going to take the log on both sides, the logarithm log on this side and log on this side as well. And let's go ahead and apply this power rule. So whenever we have this exponent x, we can move it to the front. So we can write this one as x times log of 5 over 3 equals to log of 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. Now since we want to uh, isolate x, let's go ahead and divide both sides by log of 5 over 3 on the left hand side and log of 5 over 3 on the right hand side this log of 5 over 3 and log of 5 over 3 this is gone so we ended up with just x on the left hand side equal to log of 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 divided by log of 5 over 3 and since we are dealing with uh, this fraction the ratio log of this fraction we're going to be using this quotient rule so let's go ahead and do that one so x could be written as on the top log of 1 plus square root of 5 minus log of 2 divided by we're going to be applying the same rule on the denominator as well. So this is going to become log of 5 minus log of 3. And now if we use a calculator, we figured out all these values. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So x is going to be equal to log of 1 plus square root of 5 is going to be approximately equal to 0. 5, 1 minus log of 2 is going to be 0 0.3 divided by log of 5 in our case is 0 0.7 minus log of 3 is 0 0.477. And if we simplify it, we are going to get x is approximately equal to 0 0.942. And that is our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.